Hello everyone, my name is Pritam and you are watching Tech with Free. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another tech video. Now this is the third video of this tutorial series called Cloud Computing with Microsoft Azure. Now in my last video, we have cleared the concept of the cloud computing with the help of the different cloud uh, deployment models like the uh, private, public and hybrid cloud. Also, we have seen the services of cloud like IIS, IAS, uh, infrastructure as a service, uh, platform as a service, software as a service. Okay, we have completed that. And uh, from last two videos, we have cleared the concept of cloud computing. And it was necessary, as I mentioned, because today we are going to start Microsoft Azure itself. So it's very important, uh, guys, to clear uh, the concept of cloud computing before jump into it. Because not for this video only, it would be like for the whole rest of the Azure series, uh, those concepts would be uh, remain constant. And those are the basic building block before you understand Azure. So if you are new in this channel and you're watching this video, so I would request you, please go to so watch last two videos to understand and clear your concepts on cloud computing. Then we can jump into it, all right? Now, don't worry for the link. The link will be there in the description. And also you can find the link right now here in your screen. Now, let's see what we are going to learn today. So first we'll see what is Azure. Now we have learned about cloud computing and finally we'll, we are here uh, with Microsoft Azure. So we'll see about it. Next, what are the different services Azure is providing? We'll look into it also. Uh, next, we'll do a quick tour of Azure. Uh, that would be very interesting. We'll go to the official website of Microsoft Azure and we'll see different you know, partners uh, or different clients. Those are using Azure and also we'll see what are the different services Azure is providing. Uh, we need to do this because I believe that before starting anything, like you are starting a programming language, you are starting a cloud service platform, it, it is very important to go their official website and read about it and see what are they're offering and what are the things you're going to learn or something like that. So it's very important. We're going to do that. And finally, we'll see the cloud computing growth. I mean, we'll see the market because again, like before starting anything, you should know that what is the current position of that language or that service you are going to learn. So sounds good. Let's get started. Okay. What is Azure? Now, Azure is a cloud service provider. We all know that as per our last two videos, we came to know that what is cloud service provider. So again, I'm telling you in short, like cloud service providers are nothing but those companies which are providing you the services, cloud services, which you can use. It's the concept of on-premise where we have seen that, uh, you know, you are managing your own data centers and or own servers or something. So now here, so we'll use some third party cloud service providers like Azure. Uh, who will take care of our server. So we need not to worry about the data center cost and data loss issues and disaster recovery. So Azure will take care of it and we'll see how Azure is doing all this thing in upcoming videos. Okay. So here Azure will manage all your servers or your storage, networking, everything what you want to configure and they will configure all these things in their data center. So there would be many data centers that are available for Azure in the whole world. And we will see about it in a different video totally uh, where I will show you the Azure data centers, the Azure geography, uh, Azure region. Those concepts are also very important. So we'll take care of it uh, in upcoming videos. Don't worry. But now I believe the concept of cloud service provider is clear to you. So Azure is one of the cloud service provider. So it's from Microsoft. You can see this is the logo of Azure and they follow the, uh, you know, the color blue sky sky blue sorry the color sky blue to represent the cloud and it has started from october 27 2008 you can see it's a cloud service provider so it's almost like uh, 12 13 years back where azure has started all right so it is a public cloud computing platform uh, we already know what is public cloud where you can you know you can besides all your data to the cloud uh, from your data center so with solution including uh, IAS, PaaS, SaaS, already uh, you have the concept of it that can be used for services such as virtual computing, databases, networking, analytics, and much more. Azure is following these uh, services, cloud computing services, which can be used for the different services. And we have few like computing, databases, networking, analytics. So there would be many more. All right. Now we will see the services that we just talked about. So what are the services cloud is providing? 
So here I have a picture. Uh, it's from Microsoft itself, and where you would be able to see uh, the different services of Azure in a you know in a great uh, structurized uh, format. So in the below we can see Azure has data center uh, infrastructure. As I mentioned, like all your data will be stored in Azure, different different data centers which is available globally in different places. So if we see the infrastructure service, we can see Azure is providing the compute, storage, networking section where you can use in computing virtual machines also the azure kubernetes containers in storage we have four type of storage uh, don't worry we will discuss about it all the storage uh, in separate videos and also we have networking virtual network dns uh, vpn gateway so again we will go with it so these falls under the infrastructure service we also have the platform services like we have the databases and uh, the application web apps uh, you, mobile application. We also have the developer services. We have analytics and IoT also. Uh, we have we have intelligence also Azure machine learning and uh, artificial intelligence. We have also hybrid cloud here in the right side. You know what is hybrid cloud. So we have the Azure AD Connect Health. We have the uh, domain services, backup, Azure Monitor. So these are the part of the hybrid cloud. And in the left hand side, we have the security and management where we have the security center, Azure portal, Active Directory, Azure Active Directory, which is very important. So these are the things uh, which is providing by the Azure. These are the services and there will be many more which is not possible to you know fit in this picture very honestly. Now we will go to the uh, Azure website and we'll see more of these products and much more things. So let's go there. Okay, right now I'm here in the Google and I will search for Azure just and I'll just go to the Azure Microsoft.com. Okay, so this is the website for Microsoft Azure. You can see this is the Microsoft logo here and this is saying for try Azure for free and actually we're going to do that in the next video. I'll show you uh, how you are going to sign up for Azure because we need this account to practice uh, Azure for the next videos, right? This is the thing which is which Azure is providing and these are the you know customers or the client who are using Azure so you can see find out the, how these customers are innovating with Azure so you can learn about these case studies and how Azure is helping them. Okay, uh, we will just go to the top and we'll see the products now here it is we are already discussing about this so these are the most popular Azure product you can see all uh, under the product section which is the virtual machine, Azure SQL, Cosmos TV, Kubernetes, app services, okay, Azure functions, many more. And here are the categories. You can see, you can click any of the categories to see more about it. Like under the compute section, we have the Azure virtual machine. We'll, we'll see it actually by creating virtual machine in future videos. Also, we have the scale set, virtual machine, AKS, Kubernetes service, functions, app service. So this comes under the compute. And we already knew that one of the important service of cloud computing any cloud computing providers is the compute so this is the compute services providing by the azure we have also container services where we have different containers like aks containers functions also we have databases where we have cosmos db sql database uh, the azure sql also uh, we'll see about it we have devops azure devops pipelines developer tools we have visual studio here visual studio code you can use different power apps also. We have different solution for hybrid or multi cloud like the Azure Express route is one of the popular. So there would be many like for networking. We have the virtual networking load balancing Azure DNS. OK, for security, we have security center Azure Defender Key Vault. OK, and storage like we discuss. So we have different kind of storage here. So there are you can see the it, it is more than 200 products that are there for Azure and every new day new products are coming actually so you can understand that this is a platform which is daily evolving itself because the demand for the customers or for the clients it's day by day increasing also so to support them they have to evolve themselves now when I say they I mean all other cloud platform itself right not only Azure now we are going to see the different cloud platforms and where Azure is standing and what is the market growth. Now, in this website, we can see that this is the you know quarter one data 
service to 2021 cloud infrastructure service providers market share and you can see aws is taking the 32 percent of market share where azure is the 20 percent we have other cloud platform like gcp google cloud which is nine percent alibaba six ibm cloud five like that so so aws is the most popular cloud platform which for a long time it is taking the market up but azure was very down at the beginning but it has started to taking growth much more faster than aws and it is really now competing with the aws now if i show you a chart from forbes you can see here the growth so from 2017 to 2020 and you can see uh, amazon here so it's quite a bit steady here you can see 30 percent growth so in 2017 the growth of azure was 10 percent and in quarter four it is 20 percent so you can see the growth has increased based on the market and more people are switching to azure more companies are switching to azure if i just read that 63 percent of enterprise are currently running apps on microsoft azure secondly only to aws azure is narrowing the gap with aws in both percentage of enterprises using it and the number of virtual machines enterprises are running on it okay so you can read it all those uh, things so all i wanted to show you that to know that how azure is uh, day by day developing and evolving and taking the more marketplaces right now we do not have any fight between aws and microsoft azure here there are two different cloud service providers so you can go for aws also and you can go for azure at the same time and also google cloud because all the concept of cloud computing platform is uh, same but they have different products and different offerings different pricing all these things okay so i'll just give you the link all these things you can just read it out also if we just look the market share like i mentioned from 2007 2015 uh, you can see the market sh uh, sharing how, how much it is increasing so you can uh, analyze the graph okay now these are the things so these are the things which is happening in the market right now however aws is in the top but azure is narrowing the gap with aws right all right so this is all about the market chart and everything uh, i believe this video is very informative you are able to understand about the azure we also have a tour on the azure portal uh, to see different services different products azure is offering and also as per the market share what is the current situation uh, we are standing azure is standing so in the next video that would be a totally separate video where i will show you how you will sign up for azure with a free account so make sure you watch that video uh, that is coming on thursday so that is it for today guys i hope the video helped you to learn about more about azure so this is just the beginning we have to jump into azure to explore it right thank you guys for watching this video if you like it hit the like button and if you have any queries or doubts or question you can just ask me in the comment section and please share this video with your friends and families so that it can reach out to many people okay don't forget to subscribe my channel we'll see you in the next video take care bye bye